Peter Ada drafting students, Mr. Void again. So I had just talked about um, grid and snap on the last video. I talked about uh, undo or what we call a race. Well, I, I talked about undo. I really didn't talk about a race. I should hit on that here in a second. I talked about getting in and out of commands. I talked about the command line. Oops, I'm going to hide this. The command line down here. I talked about absolute versus relative entry. Those are all things that we need to understand. I should talk a little bit real quick before I get going, because this is going to be a pretty short video, on how to erase something. So there's a number of ways to erase things. Um, you can highlight geometry. I call, so this is a, when I do a rectangle, see how this is all one piece? Or I, if I draw a, a rectangle by using lines like this, that's also a rectangle, right? But see how when I highlight it, it's it's actually four lines put together. So when I use the rectangle command, it creates one piece of geometry, one full piece of geometry. When I use the line command, it creates different lines connected together. Okay, so you have to understand how you drew something. I can alt, there's a way to take this and make it into four lines. We'll get into that later, but, and there's a way to take your four lines and put them together and make it a rectangle, but sometimes it's easier to draw them that way in the first place. Anyway, if I want to get rid of this, I think I went over this in class already, but to highlight things, I can either click on them like this, you know, go through and hit every individual thing, or they have what they call selection windows. So if I click and hold my left mouse button, see how I, I get this kind of wacky green thing here? And it goes on and off depending on whether I've crossed the line or not. Or what that does is anything it touches, anything the green touches, is going to highlight. Even if I only touch a corner of it. Watch. I just touch a corner of that and it highlights the whole thing. Okay. If I want that to be, instead of being that squiggly, if I want it to be a square, instead of clicking and holding my left mouse button, I click and let go, and then I can pull a square box. But it still works the same. If I just touch that entity, it highlights the whole entity. And when I click again, see how it's selected? Okay, so it's the same as hovering over it. So click and hold, click and let go of the left mouse button, it becomes this. If I click and hold the left mouse button, it, it's this thing. So I can make it kind of goofy. So those that's really useful. If I do it going the other way, it's the same thing, but see how it's a different color? That's blue. Now watch. If I go this way, see, if this was green, if I was going to the left, it would highlight this line when I let go. I let go, nothing. I click and let go, and now it does a square. Nothing. Because when it's blue, I have to get the entire entity in it. See how I'm touching this, and I'm touching this line, and I'm touching this rectangle? But the only thing I have entirely in the square is this line right here. So when I click, it highlights that. So the blue, you have to get things entirely inside the box. The green, you just have to touch a tiny part of them, and it will highlight. Okay, see, look. So I've highlighted both of those with that. Two different ways to select things on your screen. So that is just, you know, something you want to know. So anyway, when I do that, let's say I select this. If I want to delete it, I don't hit the backspace. I, I use the delete button. It's on the right-hand side, kind of just over from the enter key. It says delete on it. So I have to hit delete, not backspace. That's how you delete things. We'll get into another command later. So like if I want to delete this line, in between those two lines, that is not delete. If I click this line and I hit delete, it'll delete the whole line. But there's a way to delete just the line inside this box. It's it's here, it's called trim. So we'll get into that later, but that's, that's a mod, so I've drawn my geometry, that's modifying my geometry that I've already drawn. These are my draw, these are my modify. Okay, so now the other thing I wanted to go over I've already told you about seeing these. Um, I've already talked to you about uh, your grid and snap settings. Um, I just went and I've already basically shown you your your rectangle command, right? And you can just click and go. I have not shown you the circle command. Um, you can do it with a diameter or a radius. If I do a diameter, obviously 
the number I'm going to type in is going to be the diameter of the circle. So 5. If I go 5 and enter, that's a 5 diameter circle. If I go to my radius and I go 5, see how it's twice as big? That's the radius is from the center to the side is going to be twice as big as a 5 diameter, right? So anyway, you can draw circles doing that. One thing I want you to know is, like if I if I click circle and I touch this circle, let's see how I can't touch that circle because I'm in snap. So I'll turn my snap off and I touch this circle. Usually, it's not doing it right now. What do I have off? I have... Usually what it'll do is it'll give me a center mark so that I can come down here. I think I got to have this on. There we go. See how I, when I touch this, it gives me my center mark. So that's a different thing. I'm going to go over this later. But there are ways to help you find points on this geometry. You see that point right there? That is the quadrant line on this circle. So like 3 o'clock on your clock, right? To find that exact spot, it helps you find and lock on to exact spots of geometry. And you can control which ones it'll show you and which ones it won't. That's your midpoint of a line. That's an intersection of two lines. Okay. So there are different points. Now, I don't want to get into that right now. This is a different kind of snap. It's called object snap. And we'll get into that down the line. But you should know how to make a, a circle, know how to make a rectangle. You should know how to do your grid and snap. You should do settings. Okay. One other thing. If you want to get your units set. You come up here and you literally come down to drawing utilities and go to units. And we, we're we going to set it to decimals. Okay. If you go to architectural, it'll be fractions. But we're going to go ahead and set it to decimals right now. Um, and right now we're going to leave it on inches. But if you need to change it to millimeters or centimeters because you have a drawing that's in those, then you got to change those right here. And if you want to change the percent, this goes to four places after the decimal. You can change it, obviously. Um, if you go to engineering, it it will display things a little different, scientific notation, uh, fractions, and so forth. So just set it up. For now, leave it on decimal and inches and hit OK. All right. And the other thing I want to show you is if I come up here, I told you I was going to show you this. To change the background color, I literally just click the, my big A up here. I like going up here and then I can save from there, but I also go to options and it will give you this dialogue. Lots of different things we can set up on our on our uh, drawing page. If I want to change my background color, I just go colors and I come right here. And I'm going to just change it to blue. See my, that I wouldn't like, that would hurt my eyes, but if you like it, great. If you like black, leave it on black. This is what you guys probably have right now. I don't like, you can see the lines on this, but you can't see them easily. At least not for me, I'm old. So, oops. I like having my white on. If there's a color you that doesn't hurt your eyes that you like, and it makes it easier for you to see things, be my guest. Use whatever color you want. Okay. Um, but that's how you do it. That simple. Now, you could also, instead of coming up here and going to options, you could literally come down here in your command line and type options. And when you click it, it brings that up. Okay. Just like, I don't know what that is. I have no idea what that is. So this right here, I can also type circle. And I have a circle command, right? Um, again, you guys are probably going to use the textual. So those are things I wanted you to understand. Okay. The only other thing, I've been over this, but when you start, if I go up here and I want to start a new drawing, I'm going to hit new. Okay. And I'm going to start and do that. Um, if I want to save, I go here and I go, the first time I save something, I hit save as, and I name it and put it in a certain, uh, place. So if I go save as I can choose where to save it. I've told you guys to save to your U drives and I told you to save, these are Drake's drawings right here to save with your first name and then the number of the drawings so that you can always get at your drawings. 
Okay. So, and then if I want to start a new drawing, I just go new. And if I want to open a drawing I already have, I go open and it will open and I can, I can navigate around to open my drawings and open them. So, okay. That's this video. Thanks guys.